Allen from Taipei on the island of Taiwan, the Republic of China, bringing you the 1988 Miss Universe pageant. We've now interviewed five of our semi-finalists. We have five to go, beginning with Miss Thailand, Porntip Nakironkanok. Porntip, she uh, won the national costume competition, incidentally, and she attends Pasadena City College. Now, how did you get to be Miss Thailand from Pasadena? Well, you don't have to live in Thailand to be a... Uh, Thai person. I hope to set a good example for the Thai people in my country for I am a Thai person and yes I did grow up in Los Angeles but I'm a Thai person throughout and I, I know I, I live the Thai culture and I speak the Thai language and I just want everyone to know that I am proud to be a Thai woman. Who first taught you your English? My English? Well English wasn't allowed to be spoken at home. Only Thais was be spoken at home. That's how I kept my language. So I think I owe it to Big Bird. I watched Sesame Street a lot when I was a little <laughs> I learned mine from the Cookie Monster. Yes, I understand. Um, now, I know that you have a charity project for Thai children that you work on. Yes, unfortunately, Thailand's not only a beautiful country that's rich in culture and tradition, but it has its problems, too, and our children is one of them. Um, in fact, 10,000 of our children died last year of malnutrition, and I'm hoping, as Miss Thailand, I can make a difference for these children. You certainly will. Keep up that good work, Miss Thailand. Thank you. Miss Korea is Chong Yung Chong. She's a high school student, and uh, she's studying at the High School for the Arts. There you are. Hello, Miss Korea. Hello. Um, and you have a translator. Um, you, you want to be a Korean folk dancer, it says here. What kinds of stories are told in Korean folk dance? She's learning Chinese traditional folk dance right now, and there are two kinds of traditional folk dances. One is for show, and uh, another one is for the plight of women. Uh, one is for the plight of women, and one is for show, yes. for entertainment. Will you be involved at all in the Olympics this year? Uh, 이번 올림픽 때요. 네. 제 이번 올림픽 때 미스 코리아들이 아, 협회가 있어요. 노원 해라고요. 근데 그 협회에서 아, 그 미스 코리아들이 피켓 거를 해요. 그러니까 팻말을 들고 앞을 나가는 거죠. 근데 네. 아, 그때 올림픽 때 사람들도 생각하기를 굉장히 좋은 대회라고 생각해요. 네. 그리고 아, 만약 기회가 된다면 사회자님 그리고 심사위원님 그리고 사, 여기 모인 사람들을 모두 초대하고 싶고요. 그 다음에 <웃음> <웃음> 그 다음에 초대하신 이분들에게 아, 맛있는 김치를 제가 대접하겠습니다. I think she's competing in every event. It's... <웃음> yes, she is going to be involved in, an, in, the, in the Olympics. And uh, she wants. To, she's also very excited and happy about the Olympics taking place in Korea. She wants to invite all the audiences here to eat the Korean traditional kimchi. Mm -hmm. And come and stay at your house. <laughs> Korean hospitality. We look forward to that. Thank you very much. Miss Colombia is Diana Patricia Arevalo. She's a university student and she studies business. Hello, Diana. What kind of business do you hope to be in? ¿En qué clase de negocio te gustaría estar? Bueno, primero que todo, tengo que llegar a Colombia a estudiar porque no he terminado mi carrera y yo creo que mi empresa va a ser y no sé por qué, pero siento algo que mi empresa va a ser referente a la mujer y pienso montar una empresa. Sobre el maquillaje, sobre cosméticos. Well, first of all, I would like to go back to Colombia to finish my career. I haven't finished yet. And I believe that my business will be around, centered around a woman, makeup. Mm -hmm. Now, I also read that uh, you have a pet boa constrictor. Oh. There's a famous part of, uh, of Taipei called Snake Alley. 
Did Deanna have a chance to visit there and learn some of the customs? Eh, sabemos que tienes una boa mm -hmm. como mascota. Hay un lugar en Taipei que se llama Snake Alley. ¿Lo has visitado? <laughs> no, no he tenido la oportunidad de visitarlo, pero me han hablado de ello y mi mamá estuvo hace pocos días allá y me contó que es como una especie de costumbre en que allí cogen las culebras, las parten por la mitad, las abren y los, se toman esa sangre para dar más vitalidad y más vigor. Yo no sé, pero yo creo que a mí me gusta tenerla, pero viva, pero no ni, come, ni tomarme la sangre ni comérmela. Well, yes, I've heard about it, but I haven't gone. Some friends went the other day and they told me what it was all about. They cut open the snake, they get the blood out, <laughs> and I don't think I would like to do that. <laughs> Well, for those of you who are still with us, <laughs> yes, that is a custom here that uh, shows a man's virility. If he, if he drinks that, you would think a nice mustache would do. Um, you are a lovely young lady. Thank you. Miss Colombia. Gracias. <laughs> Miss Norway is Bente Brunland. She's a personal development trainee. Hello, Bente. How, how do you go about developing your person? Um, how, how you do it? It's a lot of things that, well, everybody goes to school to develop uh, special work, whatever. But they seldom, a lot of people that develop their personality. So, uh, where I'm a trainee, we have these things, like enthusiasm, a lot of things. What's the first impression you like to make on people? The first impression? The first impression is always positive. Yes, it certainly has been here. You're a semi-finalist. It says you also have an ambition to become a comedian. What have you been doing for laughs here? It's a lot of work to be here. What do you do? What have you done for fun? Well, I have Miss Iceland as my roommate, so <laughs> and she's very funny. Mm -hmm. Sort of a Lucy and Ethel in Taipei. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, we have done a lot of other things too. We've been on sightseeing. And we've met a lot of strange people from the organization, cameramen and everything. Yes, I've met some of those strange people, too. <laughs> yes, big smiles and sore feet you'll have when you leave. Miss Norway, very nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> Miss Venezuela is Yahaira Vera. Yahaira is a medical doctor. If she wins, she'll be doctor, Miss Universe. Now, uh, you already have a medical practice, Yahaira. Why would you want to be Miss Universe? Ya, ya eres una doctora. ¿Por qué quieres ahora ser Miss Universo? Uh, as a woman, as a doctor, I will, I can carry on a preventive medicine message all over the world because it's needed to promote and to promote the health. And ahora voy a hablar en español. <laughs> Y quiero decirles a todas las personas del mundo, a todos los hombres de ciencia, a todos los médicos de todos los países que se unan a esta gran meta, a conservar y fomentar la salud. Y de esta manera podremos hacer realidad el sueño, la meta de la Organización Mundial de la Salud que dice Salud para Todos en el año 2000. I would like to send a message to all of, all of the men of science everybody around the world involved in the world of medicine to come and join me in this message which is so needed in the world. It's a lovely message, yes. Other thing, and uh, to help at uh, the organization health of the world to uh, say that we will improve health for the year 2000. Yes, and, pardon me, go ahead Armando. Let's make health better for the year 2000. A nice message. I should note that she's also a, a mountain climber and a marathon runner and doctor, just a general underachiever. It's very nice to see you, Miss Venezuela.
first of the three steps between semifinalist and finalist has now been taken. Now, you've probably picked your favorite, but remember, there are two semifinal competitions yet to come, so don't be rushing your vote at home.